Now you have seen the obvious patterns, obviously. We even saw the buildings and the different patterns in them. Now, do you recognize the things in front of me? I'm sure you must have encountered them at home at some point, in the kitchen. This is a small bowl of rice, sugar, groundnuts or peanuts, and fried gram. Now, when I said all these names, how is it that you were able to recognize all of the visuals or the images that you saw? That's because you have seen them before, most likely. You've seen them before and you were able to identify the different patterns made by the shapes and colors in each one of them that told you that this is not rice but is sugar, that this is not sugar but is a groundnut, right? Now, we're not stopping there. What we'll try and do is hear the sounds that's made by each one of them when I pour them into this bowl at the center. Right? Here I have a bowl of rice. Did you hear that? Let's try this with a bowl of sugar. The bowl of sugar. Notice it was a lot softer and a lot shriller than the other. Now we have the bowl of groundnuts. That sounded heavy, didn't it? And then we have the bowl of gram. Well, it had a slightly different sound to it again. Now, here's what we'll do. We'll turn the screen off for a little while, all right? We'll have all of these sounds playing again. Let's try and guess, just because of the patterns that the sound's making, the tone and the volume of the sound and how quickly the sound strikes us or how slowly the sound strikes us. Let's try and identify which sounds belongs to which item. Are you up for it? Here we go. Now, when you don't see anything on the screen, let's see if you can identify these sounds. All right, so what is this sound? And this one? And this is the sound of? This is the sound of? How about we try and put them in a sequence right now, one after the other? And let's try and find out what is falling down after the other. And here we go. Did you catch that? Let's play it one more time. Did you catch that? Did you notice the difference that each of the sounds were making? You were able to identify that it was the rice, followed by the groundnut, followed by the gram, and then the sugar. Let's try another one.
And did you spot this one? This one was a little longer. Let's listen to it one more time. Did you get this? What was the order? Sugar, groundnut, rice, groundnut, gram, and sugar. Good. So you see, patterns are not just about shapes and colors and numbers. Even sounds are patterns. In fact, the fact that we were able to hear the sounds is all because of patterns. And Math resides in everything. Wasn't that fun? Try making your own sounds in, out of things that you find at home. Drop them, throw them. You might hear a lot of beautiful things and we can put them all together in different patterns and different sequences to create music. Music